If you have your own Discord server, or if you are a moderator or an admin in a server, then you probably saw this message come through this week. This message is in reference to guild tags, which is part of a brand new feature coming to Discord within the next month or so called guilds. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this feature yet or how useful it's gonna be for most people because it is very heavily geared towards gamers, which I think is cool because the roots of Discord is gaming while they branched out a lot lately the roots are still gaming. So it's cool to see them kind of catering and adding new features for gamers. But I'm not 100% how practical it's actually gonna be. So in this video, we're gonna dive into guilds and what they actually are. But before we do, I wanna tell you guys about a really cool translator bot called iTranslator. iTranslator is a must have Discord bot for communities that speak more than one language. The bot lets you translate any message that someone sends inside your Discord server, all directly inside the server. This includes the auto translation ability, which basically lets you set up an automatic trigger. So say, anytime someone sends a message in English inside the English channel, it can be automatically sent and translated to the Spanish channel in Spanish. Even better, thanks to a recent Discord update, you can now use this bot inside your direct messages with friends, allowing you to better communicate with people that might speak a different language than you. You can add the bot to your Discord server by clicking my link at the top of the description, or you can even check out my full in-depth walkthrough video underneath that. Big shout out to iTranslator. Let's get back to the video. I'm gonna have this support article they finally posted just two days ago. Um, um, in the description for you guys if you want to read all about it yourselves but basically what these guilds are is it's a private subset server uh, that's a part of a main server so take my discord server for example my discord server while we do and talk a lot about gaming in here it's not really geared just towards gaming because we have a discord help channel you know we talk a lot about discord and just teaching people how to do stuff because it relates directly with what i do here on youtube but once this feature rolls out if i wanted to create an actual like hangout space for all of the hard hardcore gamers in my server, I could do that by creating a guild. The main focus of creating a guild is that not everyone can join it. So with a Discord server, as long as you have a discord.gg invite link, you can just join any server as long as you have that link and it's a valid link. When it comes to these guilds, the only way to get in is to fill out an application that is set up by the guild owner and they have to approve your application for you to be able to join. So scrolling through this article, you can see what the application process when you're setting one up as the owner is what it would kind of look like you'd get to select the games that you want to play what type of play style your guild is going to have you can select your target audience so what type of get what type of modes and stuff they play for those select games just to kind of get a little more insights about them and what type of player they are and there's a lot more stuff you can add you can add a bunch of descriptions you can create a badge and this is going to we're going to talk about these guild tags in a second you can create a badge to create your own custom guild tag that all of your guild members will have and then at the very end you can set up questions for your application to have so whenever someone wants to apply they're going to have to answer these questions that you put in your application so let's talk about the guild tags because that's what you're actually going to start seeing soon inside servers and you're probably gonna be like what the heck is that tag so basically it's just if you've ever played call of duty back in the day it's basically a four letter clan tag that's associated with the guild that you're a part of you're able to click on it and if you click on it it will show you what the actual guild is give you a description about it and then you can even join the wait list or apply to the guild to be a part of it now there's one really weird thing about this that i'm not sure i'm a fan of you are not able as the member of a guild you're not able to customize your own guild tag to say whatever you want it is solely set and determined by the owner of the guild. And the reason this is somewhat concerning is because when you're a part of a guild, it's going to show your guild tag in every message you send across every server that you're in, even your DMs on Discord. So this tag is gonna be associated with your account everywhere that you interact. So if you're a part of a guild and you don't want to have the guild tag of Ds that your guild owner sets, then you're kind of stuck with it unless you decide to just leave that guild. So while I see the point of the guild owner sets it and everyone in the guild has it, it keeps everything nice and cohesive. It just seems like it could easily take a turn for the worst. They could create anything that they want and put it on there. Now, something good to note is that Discord Auto Mod has been updated to uh, scan these guild tags. So people aren't going to be able to put like the F word in there or whatever they want. 
they're not going to be able to use anything that would be triggered that would be triggered by discord's auto mod so that's at least a good sign but still something to keep in mind if you do join these guilds is you don't have control of the guild tag only the owner does now another thing i wanted to mention that's really weird about this feature is originally when this was first getting um experimented in different servers it was actually called clans and that made way more sense because when you think of the word guild a lot of you guys might not know this if you're just an average discord user but when your discord developers typically refer to servers we refer to them as servers but most developers refer Refer to these as guilds we are talking about discord servers guild has always been aware another word for a server and this feature used to be called clans so it made sense but now they changed it to guilds to me it just makes the whole thing a little confusing i wish they would have just stuck with the term clan instead of changing it to guild but i digress a couple other important things to note uh, before we wrap up the video guilds right now have a max number of 200 members so you cannot exceed over 200 members in a single guild right now and when you're looking at the member list on the right side when you're in a guild instead of just showing them under the role and then listing their name under what role they have it instead lists people by what game and activity they're playing because this is a more gaming focused feature so it lists people under what game that they're playing so you can easily see what if someone's on valor and you want to play valor with them you can easily see what members of the guild are currently online and playing Valorant. So that's pretty much the guild feature in a nutshell. Um, I think it's kind of cool. I do enjoy seeing them going back to their gaming roots and trying to implement more features for gamers because that's what the platform started out as. So it's definitely cool to see. Um, I just don't know how practical this is gonna be for the majority of people. It's just kind of, to me, seems like a feature that's going to exist that not a whole lot of people are going to use. But maybe I'm looking at it just from my perspective Perspective because I may not specifically use this feature. Um, once it does come out though, I will go through and actually set up a guild to let you guys see what that looks like in the whole process to show you guys if you wanna set up your own, I'll give you guys a walkthrough showing you how to set it up once I do have access to the feature. Currently, I don't have access to it. But that's pretty much the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, please consider subscribing. We're really close to 40,000 subs, so I would love to hit that soon. And then if you want to join my Discord, I'll have the link down in the pinned comment below. Also, check out iTranslator in the description description if you need a translator bot and you want to add it into your server you can add it from my link in the description thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace